got the Flute Master about 15 years ago when I started training on it like 10 years ago. I believe it's from 1968. Going through the maintenance records on that machine, it was worked on quite a few times. It, you know, it's one of our key machines to make blanks, and it's one machine we've always got to keep moving. This machine uh, was down and it needed a tremendous amount of work. The, the machine was very rough, it's very old. The controls, toast. Electronic parts of machines were old, and all Allen Bradley components in. All the boards were old, the machine was just wore out. The ball screws were worn out, the table gibs were worn out, and we could only run things so fast without the machine shaking. When you ran three pieces at a time, the parts were not as smooth, the table would jump. Our shop is not air conditioned, the machine will go down probably once a month. I basically said something has to be done, so then I contacted All World Machine Supply and see if they could help me out. It was a great candidate for a rebuild retrofit. For us to bring this machine back, we had to redesign just about everything on it. It was, it, it was quite a team effort uh, in this whole process to uh, make this happen. First, everybody has their own concept about how something should be or be done. And then we kind of start to integrate our concepts with each other as far as how it's all going to work in the end. Well, we got uh, specialists in all, you know, mechanical, electrical, software that work really well together to make these things work out. We made numerous trips over to the customers uh, with our service group. We worked with, I'd say, everybody within the company from the upper management to the operator as far as what their expectations were. First thing we did was attack the iron. That took 12 weeks to uh, tear down, remachine, scrape, free true, get ready to hold that massive weight. The best part of it was the, the metal frame was still usable. And once we got that done, we had to see if we couldn't do the electronics so it would be more efficient. And we built a control panel. Had our software guy come up with the required programming. We based the control on the Mitsubishi Q platform utilizing the C70 CNC CPU and the Q03 PLC module. And for the operator's interface, we used the GOT2000 HMI, color touchscreen. Being a Mitsubishi integrator, we work with Mitsubishi to utilize U.S. stock, so we really face no issues with uh, lead times from Japan. My lead guy, Randy Hansen, actually went over to All World and spent a lot of time with uh, software writer Frank Gruby. We didn't want to create something that was so outlandishly new that they would have to relearn the whole process all over again. I was kind of skeptical because of CNC drives and it's all CNC operated, but once I got there and started training on it, it's basically the same setup as it was before, it's just a little CNC. This control was designed to be recipe based, where they would enter in all of the parameters of a single part, give it a name and a model number and save it. I was really amazed at how much like it was before as it is now when it comes to setting it up. It's basically the same setup with just a few different numbers, that's all. A couple of improvements we made on the Flute Master was the Echo Rich hybrid hydraulic power unit, the Lube USA lubrication system, and the Daikin oil chiller. The energy savings and the oil consumption savings were greatly reduced. The day we got the machine back, there was a lot of ex excitement here at Regal Cutting Tunes. We had even actually a little potluck dinner for the employees that day because we knew we were back in business. After running the old machine for approximately seven, eight years to running the new machine, it's two different sides of a coin. Everything's like brand new. I mean, we could run the machine on three, four times quicker, and we have been. Before, we would run three at a time, and it would take approximately six minutes to run three pieces because of how rigid the machine is. We can run three pieces in four minutes. So we gain like two minutes per set. In three months now, I think we've been running it, and we probably got like 25% of it already paid back just on how much faster we can run the pieces and 
make more profit on each piece that we run. Now you can run the machine a third faster and the parts are a lot nicer. We're now running bigger pieces on it that we normally wouldn't, could not have run on the old machine. And it doesn't break down like it used to. It's just a hundred times better than it was. We estimate the efficiencies of the machine being four times greater than it was before the rebuild. We got the customer uh, everything that they wanted and then more. It was a tremendous success. Just to highlight what we can do here and how well we can work together with the customer. We have developed a relationship with them uh, that is second to none, and that's what our world is all about. In the future, we do have a few more machines here that need to be rebuilt since we are old um, machine facility. More likely, all world will be building quite a few of our machines. So. <laughs>